you want to talk about your case uh it was we were hustling yeah you know um actually no i i, I got locked up true story for something i didn't do you got locked up from was not, it not conspiracy snitching. yeah, for, yeah. It, it, it would be different well anything just, yeah definitely it was snitching, yeah. but I re- really did not sell the drugs that I went to jail for. Like I didn't even oh, know wow. the people, like oh, at all. Wow. I just I just ate at thirty because I wouldn't, co- basically wouldn't cooperate. And I'm not saying that for a pat on the back. Yes, yes. That's just mm-hmm. how it happened. And so you know what you did. You just took your lick because of what you knew. Hell no, nah, I wasn't even trying to take the lick for real. I went to trial. I mm. just lost. <laughs> you know, mm. I told me because I didn't, because if it was something I had done, yes. then I would have took, the, I would have went on, copped out for the ten. See, mm-hmm. got you. See, but my lawyers had misled me and told me I couldn't get no more than fifteen mm. if I if I blew trial, but lost. And so I'm like, shit, run it. You know, of yeah, course, yeah, if, yeah. I'd have, if I'd have snitched, I'd have had seven. I'd have been out that motherfucker in three years. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But so I told them to go and crank it up. But when it came back ninety, you know, went from ninety to thirty because it was three thirties. Yes. Even the lo- even the DA didn't see that coming. You know, they got this thing called relevant conduct where mm-hmm. they'll just, you know, compile anything people say on you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, no, it was all fabricated, man. True story. I ain't got no reason to lie now. Nah, oh, no, yeah, you right, right, right. Yeah, and I didn't do it. Was it dealing with, you know, the streets talk? Yeah. I can remember there were rumors about West Texas. Yeah, I went there one time and lost 30. Mm-hmm. One time and lost 30. Really? For real. So, it wasn't. Well, no, I'm not going. You said it. Y'all about to. Yeah. I hate when people do that. Yeah. Double stated. Yeah. Go back and ask the damn question. Ask an answer. Yeah. yeah. Ask an answer. Ask an answer. <laughs> yeah. That's real. Yeah. I hate when people do that. Don't do it. Then, then I just answer that nigga. Shit. Yeah, uh, ask me a different way. I don't know. So I, I don't. I don't get my feathers. Don't get ruffled. No, nah, I just hate when people do me like that, and I try to treat yeah. people the yeah, same way. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, you you you're incarcerated. I don't want to talk about a lot of things that happened to you while you was incarcerated. Well, I have a question. Go ahead, what baby. are you going to next? Yeah, I, do. I do know you lost your mother while you were incarcerated. I did. How did that affect you, not being able to? That was tough. You know, yeah. one of the toughest things, you know, uh, losing her, period. But losing her behind bars, not being able to go to the funeral, mm. you know, not being able to. I still haven't grieved. Because I think a lot Maybe of I people won't. assume. <clears throat> you will. That they let you go. A lot of people assume that from TV and whatever I did for funeral? a long time. Yeah, they're like, oh, you get to go to the funeral. but They probably would let somebody else go, but me, it was different. You know? Had you seen someone that you were incarcerated with that was able to go to a family member's funeral? I've heard, I don't think I've seen it, but, but I've been to a, a few low security prisons too. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I heard of it, you know, mm-hmm. that guys go, you yeah. know, let them go, but. No, that wasn't my circumstance. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So, you say you hadn't grieved yet. Maybe I won't, man, because when you're moving too fast, that's why. <clears throat> that part. But you as soon are, as you slow down, when you always, I ain't moving. slowing down. Let me tell you, tell you something, bro. What year she passed? Sixteen. Ooh, that's oh, my year. year. I lost my my mom in twenty sixteen. And that was that's what set me off to knew or to know I had depression. I didn't even know it at all. I could be sitting down watching a TV show, bro, or a movie, and somebody hugged their mama <clears throat> or something like that, and the tear just rolled down my face. Oh, yeah. And I'd be like, man, what's going on with me? I'm tripping. I was going off on my wife, going off on my kids, cussing my coworkers out. You tried to go off on your. I was wife. going off on my wife. Nah. <laughs> I was going ballistic on. No, no, I just was handling situations wrong. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I and I didn't know that's where it stemmed from. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I was going through a little depression. Then I went to see some people about. It. I'm big on that. We talk about depression a lot on this show. Man, listen. Soon as I get my legs up under me financially to where I'm all the way, when I get you know to where I can move like yes. I want to, mm-hmm. I'm going to see somebody. Yes, not yes. just about that, but about just the whole period. thing. I've yeah. been in some dark places in yes. there. Them guys doing that, to, man. They, when them people put that together, they put together a bad system. I know. I'm yeah, talking about did. you know fucks you up, man. Mm. You know. So now that I'm home, I'm, I'm super happy. You know, I give all glory to God, and I'm in a good space. But I ain't reckless. My wife. And it's nice. Um, thanks for speaking on that because, yeah, 
I mean, yeah, for real. There's no way that it can't affect you. How can oh, yeah. you how can you go through 17 years and two months of living in a, a bathroom basically with all men right. and come out normal? Normal. normal. You can't. Yeah. You can't. You can't. It's just about how normal you can be, and you know what parts of you got <clears throat> got stripped away and left, and mm-hmm. you know burned off in the fire. Basically, yeah. you hear all the nightmare uh, <clears throat> stories about being in the hole. Hmm. That's psychological as well. Like a mug. Have you ever spent time in the hole? Yes, indeed. How many days? Man, the most I did was probably like nine months. Hey, <laughs> man, that, listen, <laughs> shout out to everybody that know me from penitentiary. That was, we got a saying in the Fed, when you active, the hole is a part of your bid. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. If not, then either you're exceptionally good and better than me yes. or... You just not doing it. I mean, it's the whole. I, I have to ask because I'm not there, and I'm just going by, you know, movies, speculation. But to me, I think I would like the whole. You wouldn't. Why? Um, it's it's not. You you probably think about it from that. <laughs> I'm just by myself aspect. Yeah, away from all the hollering and yeah, but something happens when you just by yourself. You psychological. Next thing you know, you by yourself so much that you. Something on the inside. I don't think we were made to, to be, be alone. To well, be that, alone. Well, not man. That's for sure. Because you know right, that's in the Bible. Bible. Yeah, well, the well, Lord well, said man, it's not good for man, man to, to be, be alone. Yeah, but guess what though? He wasn't saying male. He was saying man because that's the way he looked at man. I don't know. Mankind. I think he meant yes. men because then he <clears> made us. And that's why right after that. Yeah. See, but the thing is, if you notice, he really. <laughs> I, he really, you know, you could be right. Though. It didn't even matter. He <laughs> said, Look, "Come on now." But but when That's he said, fight, you ain't gonna yeah, win. It, it could be. It, it could be right. But but you know, that whole is tough, man. You know, uh, yeah. And, you know, it's just it, it, it could take Nine its toll. I've seen some nightmares. That's a long time. Yeah, I've seen guys who've been in there longer. You know, man, just a drop in the bucket. But I thought they know because they always put me under investigation. I've been on six six investigations. Now, what does that consist of? You just by yourself at all times, twenty four hours a day. You don't get- twenty three. You get an hour out. You oh, know, yeah. hour out to go see with them guys. You know, what I mean, oh, yeah. you could talk, yell down the hall. I'm telling you, you kept what you had for. I mean, I don't plan on going. <laughs> oh, I tell I'm just you what. Saying. Okay, if you if, if you if, this is the way you test yourself, go in the closet uh-huh. and stay for two weeks. If you could, if you can manage to do that and you straight, then you know, hey, maybe as long as I can sleep. Yeah, you can sleep. Oh, oh no, no. But you got to put on the soundtrack of niggas yelling. See, now I, thought, on the wall. I thought you was Plus away you from talk. that in the hole. You still hear all that? See, oh, Check well, never mind. Because they in there going crazy. Never mind. Man, you just away from I, them, I, but you can still hear it. I assume oh, no, it ain't silent. that you like shut in and you can't hear what they do. You, you, you think you, they close you, Because the hole is the worst of the worst. This mm. is this is where they send the worst. This is your punishment. So you in there with knuckleheads you dig what I'm saying so yeah. have you ever seen it do um, anybody crazy you, you know how you see in the movie like it, it'll just flip them flip a switch on them have I ever seen anybody crazy I, not no have no. you seen someone being a, get put in the hole and then go and they, crazy yeah and not, and come out not right Um, n- not necessarily just because of the hole but yes. I've seen people snap during during their time yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they, they're no good. They start going to the pill line. And before you know it, you see them a, a year or two later or whatever, and they're not the same, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the mm. pill line. Yeah. You go. And they mental health meds. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I wouldn't let them give me blood pressure medicine. Uh, you can't give me nothing. Now, now. Man, don't. The only time I would take some true story is if I went to the hole and they come through and be like, uh, "Do you want to take your med? Yeah, give me one of them. I pop one of them. My, or we was on lockdown yeah. so I could sleep. Yeah, boy. It's your girl Jazzy K with Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone that's been watching. Hey, if you do us a favor and hit that subscribe button, also press the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. No, I'm gonna get some game tuned in with Super Tight. Yeah. I get the low love from Big Bobo from the front seat, not no photos.